Good morning, my friends, and happy Easter. It's May 15th, Sunday, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. I have with me a beautiful painting by Sir Peter Paul Rubin in the late 1500s. It is of a lion, the Lion of Judah, or Aslan from Narnia, a symbol of Christ's presence great strength and beauty. This lion looks like he's looking out over something that is deeply troubling to him. I picture him looking out over Jerusalem or perhaps over Ukraine and Kiev, wanting to dive in and save, but yet not holding back. God looks upon us with such concern. Today is our day of worship, a beautiful text from scripture, but I want to talk to you about the one from the book of Acts. Peter has decided to spread the gospel, not just among the Jews, but among the uncircumcised, who as you read in the Hebrew scriptures, they were not even allowed to speak to. How did this change occur? Well, Peter had a vision. He was on a rooftop where people go when it's hot in Israel. And he had a vision of a big sheet coming down with all the animals he wasn't allowed to eat. And God's saying, eat. And he says, no, Lord, I've been faithful my whole life. I, I don't want to eat this. And God says, what I have made, you should accept. And Peter understands that God has made all people, not just the Jews, and that he is to share Jesus with all people. This was a radical leap of understanding given to Peter by the Holy Spirit. The question for us is, can we also make radical leaps of understanding given to us by the Holy Spirit? Or is scripture a rigid rule book that we live by that cannot be reinterpreted or expanded? I believe that the Holy Spirit is guiding us now to reimagine our lives in light of the earth, to reimagine gender, that perhaps the Holy Spirit is leading us to say, listen, listen to the human beings that are saying that gender is not always binary. Just listen and love them and understand them. It could be that we are coming to another transition in the life of the church where we, like Peter, will be called upon to trust in the God and trust in the Holy Spirit and the ultimate message of love, not the rigidity of the Pharisaic law, but the true meaning of the gospel. Let us pray. O oh, Holy One, you look upon us with such concern. Guide us this day and always to understand more and more about this world that you have made, knowing that your Holy Spirit continues to reveal to us new insights into the nature of this beautiful universe and of our own selves. Guide us to have the courage to follow you into a deeper way of love. Lord, bless this earth. Bring peace to the world. Help us to understand those who differ from us and to pray for them. Comfort the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Comfort those who grieve. Strengthen those who are trying to be sober or struggle with addiction. And give us peace this day and always, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.